we go, losing self-control. Hello and welcome back to Motionology. The next operator in our general list is the object operator, which we can use to reference any object within our viewport. Notice that when we first created this object operator, it has the name of Expresso, which is the name of this null object, which is the owner of the Expresso tag. Now we do have this reference slot which we can drag any object into and reference that. And when we do that, let's say the capsule, when we do that, uh, we're going to have the capsule's parameters in our outputs and inputs of this object operator. You see the cap segments, the height, all of the uh, capsule's parameters. Now when we uh, reference any other object, we can drag it into the reference or we can drag it into the object operator directly in the Expresso editor. We can do it either way. Now we do have the uh, that cubes parameter, fillet, fillet radius and so on. Also notice that when we drag any object from the objects manager into the Expresso editor, we're going to have the exact same parameters. So it's basically the same. Now let me delete this cylinder object operator and let's go back to the cube. Now we need to talk about these other parameters. Let's talk first about the reference mode. We do have three options. Let's talk about the first one, which is use start. Now notice that we do have the cube. Now when we choose this first choice, use start position we do have these activated start position start distance start position it's uh set to this object which is the owner of the espresso now it's the espresso we are referencing that when we choose another option let's see the successor on this level now we do have this error because we don't have a successor we have a child let's choose down in hierarchy, which is the child. So we are selecting the sphere. When we choose another choice, let's say up in the hierarchy. So it's gonna, we're gonna select the parent, which is the platonic. Now we do have another option, let's say first in the project, it's the capsule, it's the first object in our projects manager. Last in project, which is the cube. Okay, you get the idea. We have this start distance which set to 1 for now. Let's say the first in project which is the capsule. Now let's say the successor on this level is going to give us that error again. Let's select this sphere which is the child and hit delete. Let's extract this espresso. Now it's gonna work. Let's say successor on this level is gonna be the cylinder, which is the next. Let's say, let's set the distance to two. So it's gonna choose the second uh, object after the espresso, which is the cone. Three is gonna choose the third object, which is the cube. Let's choose another object, which is the, you know, the opposite one. Three, it's gonna get. It's gonna choose the capsule, which is one, two, three. Let's talk about the last reference mode, which is the relative reference. Now we do have these letters that we can use to reference any object. Let's use the letter N, which stands for next. It's uppercase, of course. Now. We do have the Expresso, which is the owner of the Expresso tag. And now we have the next object, which is the cylinder. When we add N, N, we're going to choose the cone, which is the next after the next. Change that to P for previous. We're going to uh, reference the platonic, which is the object that preceded the Expresso tag uh, or the Expresso null object which has the espresso tag on it p p we're gonna choose the pyramid i hope that makes a lot of sense and of course we do have the letter d 
which will give us an error because we don't have a, uh, a child in our projects manager. And we do have the letter U for up and that when we select the parents. The last thing that we want to talk about this history depth, we're not gonna experiment with that, but I will talk to you about it. It's gonna store any previous state for any object. Okay, the previous position, the previous rotation or scale, global matrix, and then you can call it back. You can call it back using this history level input which will be available in the attributes manager. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.